Hello, my name is Melvina and today I will discuss medical assistance in dying in an Akoski station. Since MAID became legal in Canada in 2016, many family practices face frequent requests about MAID. MAID is also part of MCC objectives, so one should be prepared to face MAID in both QE1 and Akoski exam. Just remember that MAID is being revised quite frequently and one should review the official websites for the latest updates on these rules and regulations. Let's start our presentation with a clinical case. Irina James is a 65-year-old female who wants to discuss with you medical assistance in dying. She has a terminal illness. Talk to her in the next 11 minutes. How to approach medical assistance in dying cases? First of all, like with every Nakoski station, we have to greet the patient and introduce ourselves. Afterwards, we have to ask the patient to voice out what's their request and we have to express empathy regarding their situation because it is not an easy one. Just remember to be careful with the voice and tone and rhythm. Because most of the patients who request MAID are terminally ill and they have low level of energies, they speak low and slow. However, the physician should be able to maintain an appropriate volume and tone so they can easily deliver the situation. It's important to make sure that the patient is mentally competent and it is he or she is oriented in person, in time and place. Furthermore, we continue to ask further details about the patient's medical illness. Remember that in every made case, we have to ask the patient about mood and suicidal ideation as early as possible. If some mood disturbances is being suspected, then we have to further explore the situation. If also, we have to continue and elaborate the reasons why the patient came up with the decision and ask the patient also if the decision was encouraged by others. If the decision was encouraged by others, we have to keep in mind abuse. Discussing with the patient if they have talked about their decision with their family member is so crucial because it will give us an idea about their support level. Furthermore, we have to ask the patient if they are aware of other alternative treatments, palliative care or supportive group and offer if he is interested on that. Also, it's important to discuss what patient already knows about me and what's their understanding. That will give us a point where we can start our discussion. With every patient who requests MAID, we have to discuss with them eligibility criteria. If the patient doesn't meet the criteria, we have to make sure that we clearly express the reasons why they don't meet the criteria and vice versa. Even though the patient might meet the criteria, we still have to voice them out. What are the things that make them eligible to be able to proceed with MAID? If the patient meets the criteria to go with MAID, then we have to explore with the patient what are the modes of delivery of MAID and further procedural process which varies from province to province. Informed consent is an important part of MAID and it is important to discuss with patients all the details regarding it. Most crucial thing is that we have to clearly express to the patient that they can withdraw their consent at any time, in any manner, in any point of the process, even in the moment before the maid is being admitted. And they have to explain, or we can explain to them, how they can submit their withdrawal. There are different rules and regulations which are in system and make sure that the maid is delivered appropriately. However, if the patient meets the criteria for maid, we have to explain to the patient that they have to undergo a medical assist assessment by two independent practitioners, which are not 
related to each other and independent in this case means that they should not be from the same clinical setting they should not hold any position of authority over each other so no healthcare provider should benefit from the patient's death and that consent um, should be submitted and by the patient so these are the main points to discuss regarding MAID. i wish you all good luck in your exam thank you